Hi guys, it's Matt here from Maxon UK and in this quick start tutorial we are going to take a quick look at what deformer modelling is. So there are a few different types of modelling in Cinema 4D and one of the simplest to kind of get into very fast is deformer modelling. And deformer modelling takes what we call primitive objects and deforms them. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about this, I'm just going to give you an overview of what it does and how it works. Um, so to start with I'm going to create us a, a simple cylinder. Okay, This is one of those primitive objects that we will be able to deform. Okay, So there is another tutorial available on what deformers are and all of the different options. So if you're interested in that, you know, go and have a look. But for the moment this is um, just like what deforming modeling is. So we take a single cylinder which we can't really do much with at the moment other than adjust its height and its sort of radius which isn't a problem. Uh, the one thing we can do is increase the number of segments that this thing has along its axis. So I'm just going to turn that on so you can see. Um, so if I go to my object I can increase its height segments and you can see that that subdivides it even further. Now deformers will allow you to adjust various bits of shape depending on whether or not they are a child of it. Again, don't worry about this too much. There are other tutorials on how this all works. But I just want to show you that what a deformer does. Okay, you can see that that changes the shape of that object. And if I just move that up a little bit close, you can see we've made ourselves a torch you know, in a very, very short period of time. If we didn't need a lot of detail and we didn't need to see it very close, then that would be absolutely fine. And you've managed to create that in about a minute. So deforming allows you to change the shape that it is underneath as a child of without actually adjusting the deform, without actually adjusting the original mesh. So we simply can add, subtract, you know, we can, you know, we can turn on and off the deformation and you can adjust it so that you get the right sort of shape depending on what it is that you want to create. Okay, that is a very short introduction into what deformer modeling is. I hope it was useful for you and I will catch you in the next video.